This art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Hey friends, today we're going to draw Leo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Mutant Mayhem. Parents, this movie is in theaters Wednesday, so be sure to click the link in the description below this video to buy tickets today. We're super excited about this movie, and one of the things I'm most excited is the style of the movie. The whole thing looks like it's hand-drawn. Yeah. So in this art lesson, we're going to show you how to draw Leo, but also how to draw him in the style of the movie. So this video is going to be slightly different and a little bit more advanced. But don't worry, because we're going to take it one step at a time, and it will still be a lot of fun. And even though in this lesson we're only showing you how to draw Leo, we want to challenge you to draw all four turtles. Leo, Donnie, Mikey, and... Raph. Yeah, Raph. So at the very end of the lesson, we'll display all four turtles so that you can pause the video and use those images as reference. Yes. Okay, you ready to start? Yep. We're using a bunch of art supplies for this lesson. Well, it looks like a lot of art supplies, but it actually isn't. We just have our marker paper to draw on, and then we have our Art for Kids Hub marker set. If you have the same set, you want to use the exact same colors that we're using. We have two greens, a light green and a dark green. And those numbers are? 59 and 54. Yeah, 59 is the light and 54 is the darker green. Then we also have a light blue and a dark blue. And what are those numbers? 66 and 74. Yes. And remember, you don't have to use the same markers that we're using. You could use different markers. And then we also have colored pencils. And we're going to use our colored pencils to add the texture, the cool texture that is in the movie. We're going to try to capture that same cool look that they created in the movie. And the colors that we have are green, red, a blue and also white. And we're using our Prismacolor colored pencils, but re also remember you can use any brand. The red is just a little detail that we're gonna add to the eyes. And then we're gonna start with our green, the blue, because we're drawing Leo. We're gonna use that for his bandana later. Now let's put all of our other supplies off to the side. We're gonna start with our green colored pencil to draw the main shapes of Leo's head. And we're gonna just draw a big circle shape to start with. And we're gonna draw it right in the middle of our paper. And remember this step, we're just drawing the main shape shapes. So it's okay if it's messy or you go over it a couple times, you want to get it just right. And I think the cool thing about drawing with colored pencils is we're not going to worry about erasing. But you can also press a little bit harder so that art friends can see the shape on the camera. But you guys at home can press lighter so that it, it doesn't show up as, as strong. Okay, now let's divide our shape into half. This is because uh, this is a guideline for where his bandana will be, and also his eyes are going to be above this, and his nose will be below. Oh. Yeah. Now, his head isn't a perfect circle. We're going to change the shape just a little bit. So we're going to start over here, and we're going to draw a little flat, kind of flat shape at the very top. So we're going to just come in just a little bit towards the top and kind of create this like flatter shape up here at the top. And actually, I'm going to come down just a little bit more on the right side, and then we're gonna curve back down to that halfway. So we're kind of starting at this halfway line, and then we're coming up and changing the circle up here at the top, and then coming back down. Then we're gonna give him some cheeks. So we're gonna come right here, and we're gonna curve out past the circle a little more, and then his chin is not gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the circle. Do you see this? I'm cutting off the bottom of the circle, we're gonna come through, and then we're gonna draw his other cheek coming out. Oh, let's also, let's give him a chin. So right here, we're gonna do a chin, and then we're gonna come up diagonal for his other cheek, and we'll come out and then curve back in. So we have kind of this chin shape right here, down at the bottom, and then we got curves for his cheeks on each side. I think I'm gonna make his cheek a little bit bigger. It's so cool changing the lines and not worrying about making mistakes. Yes. There's no mistakes, right? Nope. No. I also think the cool thing about the movie is that they got all these sketchy lines. That's the cool texture and the style of the movie that the turtles are in. They've got kind of the sketchy art texture to it. So when we make these little extra lines, that's gonna to add to our drawing and make it look even cooler. Cool. I like it. It looks perfect, even though it doesn't look exactly like mine. Yeah. Perfect just means you did a good job. Yes. And you always do a good job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now let's add a little more details and draw in the bandana and also his nose. So we're gonna start here next to where the cheek comes in. And we're gonna come down, just a diagonal line, a short diagonal line. Then we're gonna come up for his cheek. We're gonna come back up to that line right there. And then we'll come back down. So we're kind of adding in this little cheek line. And then we're going to add his nose, and his nose comes back up to there. And we're going to get really close to the end of 
the, or the other side where this cheek is, and then we're going to draw another diagonal line up. Now let's draw the top of his bandana, and we're going to start here. We're going to come up just a little ways, then we're going to come across, and we're going to come... So we're coming down diagonal, not straight across. We're going to come across like this, and we're going to curve like we're going to come down to the nose, and then we're going to come back across his forehead, and then curve back into his, the edge of his head. So right here, we're going to draw this little curve. I got this curve right here. Yeah, awesome. Now let's draw in his eye. And we're going to start here on his eyebrow. And we'll draw the top of his eye, or the eyebrow. Then we're going to curve down, almost like we're going to connect all the way to his cheek. So we're coming down to his cheek. Then we're going to come across. And this is really close to the bottom of his bandana. So see the bandana right here? And we're coming across his cheek. And then right here, curve back up. And see how the edge of his eye is over his nose. So we've got this cool shape for his eye. Yeah. Then we're going to draw his other eye. We're going to draw the top of his eye first. So we're going to draw matching or following the top of the bandana like this. And we can even come pretty close to the outside of the bandana, and then we're going to draw his eye. So once you have the top of his eye right here, then we're going to curve down across his nose, and then right here we're going to curve back up. So we kind of have this like oval or U shape coming up to his eyebrow. It looks like a turtle does. <laughs> So I love that you have all these extra lines. It looks really awesome and sketchy. Now let's draw his pupil or the dark part of his eye. We're going to draw a circle, but we're only drawing part of the circle because it's underneath the top of his eyelid because he, his eyebrows are serious and he's concentrated, maybe even a little angry. <laughs> and then we're going to draw that same shape right here. So we want the same size and we're going to add that right here in the corner of this eye. So because he's looking at us, we want to make sure that these pupils look like they're coming right towards us. Yes. Now let's also add his mouth. And let's draw the front or the center part of his mouth. And we're going to match the top of his nose. So see how it's curved this way? We're going to match it, but we're going to match it going down. So I'm going to start right here, right below this part. And we're going to curve down and try to match it almost exactly and we can even look like it's coming up, curving up to touch over here. This part I'm drawing a little lighter, but we're going to draw the bottom of the mouth or the middle of the mouth so that it matches the same shape or the same curve as this part. Then right here at the end of his mouth, we're going to curve back down. And you can also add just a little curve up in the corner of his mouth. This is a tricky lesson. We're taking it one step at a time. And it doesn't seem as tricky when you take it slowly, right? Yeah. Now let's add the knot for his bandana. We'll just draw a shape that comes out, down, and back in. So we've got this cool kind of rectangle shape. Then let's add the second part of the knot. We're going to just draw that same shape, but behind the first one. So it's overlapping. And then we're going to draw the bandana just coming off of our page. You can draw it right to the edge, or you can leave a little space. I'm going to draw another line that comes out, and then maybe one more for the other side of the bandana. We did it! We finished drawing Leo! Yeah. He looks really cool, except he's... Uh, we're not quite done. No. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we're going to add color first with our markers, and we're going to block in the main color shapes. Okay. So first, let's use our light green. This is 59. I actually changed my mind. Well, I first used this color, 59. This was the color that we said at the beginning. It is light green, but we want to use an even lighter green. The turtles in this movie are a lot lighter. So we're going to use 174, and we're going to use this to color in the entire bottom shape. Yeah, look how much lighter that is. So I even use, but that's okay, right? Yes. We, I love art because we could just change things as we go. And it's no, no mistakes. <laughs> I love, I always change. I, don't, I never, <laughs> never usually just stick to the same thing. 
So we're gonna color in the bottom part of Leo's face. And we're also gonna color in the top of his head. And this part will speed up. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your drawings. Now that we have that color blocked in, let's switch to our light blue. This is 66, and we're gonna color in the bandana. This is the first layer of our drawing. So we're gonna layer even more colors on top. But this part will also speed up, so take that time. You can pause the video to color in your drawings also. Now we're gonna to switch to our 59 green, which is that first green that I thought I was gonna start with, but we're gonna add the second layer on top to add shading to our turtle. Okay. And let's first add that shadow right here on the front of his forehead. So I'm gonna draw this kind of shape, maybe right about here. We're gonna come across this forehead and then we'll come back into his bandana. And then we're gonna color everything below this line to the bandana. And I love that these, these markers really just feel like we're making that cool texture from the movie that the turtles have because they look painted. They look like they're kind of, I don't know if it's like a watercolor look or it just kind of looks painted or artsy. And that's what I think is really fun about drawing these turtles today is that we can get that same look that they had in the movie. Then let's add another line. We're gonna add shading to the bottom of his face. So we're gonna add another line right below his bandana on his nose, and then we're gonna draw it curving around and connecting to his mouth. So we're gonna add this line right here, curve down to his mouth. And then we're gonna add a line over here on his cheek. So we're gonna curve right here and we'll come down and then connect into the bottom of his jaw. Oh, right here, let's finish this line. We'll come down a little bit into his cheek and then connect into the bandana. And then one more line over here on his chin. Okay, now we're ready to color in with this green inside of this shape. But we wanna leave this cheek, the lighter green, this cheek, lighter green, and, and also- on Top of the nose. Yes, on top of the nose. Let's fast forward again. Then we're gonna add one last little shadow right here. So we wanna keep, it's kind of a triangle shape. We wanna keep that highlight on his nose bright and then color in up to the bandana, kind of a spike down towards his mouth. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's switch to our really dark green. This is number 54. We'll add just a little shadow right here on his forehead. And then we're gonna draw his mouth back in with this dark green we can trace over where the pencil line was so that it shows up a little bit more now that we've colored it in. And then we can also add a little shadow. I'm turning my paper sideways. That makes it a little easier for me to draw or see where I'm drawing. I'm gonna add a little darker shadow underneath his chin right here. We can also add, oh, I'm gonna add just a little part of his smile poking through right there. And we can also add, maybe there's just a little bit darker shadow where his chin is. Now we're ready to switch to our dark blue. This is number 74. We're gonna add shading to the bandana now. And we can start by adding a little shadow underneath his eyelid. So right here, I'm gonna draw a darker line. Let's make it a little thicker. I'm even gonna add it even thicker. <laughs> And then also I'm gonna darken in between the eyes and underneath this eye. So I'm gonna trace around the shape of the eye and color in the bandana almost solid down here. And then once we go past the eye, I'm gonna come out a little further like this. And we can even add part of the darkness coming down on this side of the eye. Then we're gonna come over to the other side or the other eye and we're gonna do the same thing. So we come out across the top of the eye. Then we're gonna come down and then underneath the eye. And then we'll come also up on the other side. I'm gonna color in, let's see about this much of the bandana and also in between the eyes. We'll finish this part. 
So this is solid dark blue in between the eyes and then it comes almost all the way over to this side of the bandana. You see how the darkness of the green, so that second layer, the dark green, matches up with the dark blue on the bandana. Yes. So you kind of have this shape going all the way through his head. Now let's add a dark shadow on the knot with this blue. And I'm not gonna color in the whole shape of that knot. We'll leave a little edge around that first shape. And then I'm gonna add another shadow to the, that second shape that was behind the first part of the knot. Then we can also add shadow or dark blue on the bandana that's coming out from the knot. Jack, you're doing such a great job. Now let's switch to our black marker and we're gonna color in the pupils. Okay. Let's first add the little highlights. We're gonna add a sideways U shape right here. And we can also add a little circle for a second highlight here. So this is the light that you can see reflecting into the eye. So it makes the eyes look really shiny. Now we're gonna color in the pupil. So I'm gonna trace around the shape, but we're gonna leave those other shapes white for the highlights. And then let's do the same thing over here, but this highlight's a little different. We're just gonna draw an oval shape right there and then we'll color in everything else. Now we're ready to switch to our red color pencil. We're gonna add this little border to the pupil. We're gonna use our red color pencil, go around and just add this, let's see if it looks sketchy. So the close up of the turtles, I think it would be cool if you notice this when you're watching the turtle movie, to see this little red detail and, you'll, and then you'll say, I remember drawing that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna add that same kind of red border around this pupil too. Now we're gonna to switch to our white colored pencil and we can make these highlights just a little bigger because they got small with the marker bleeding. We can make this a little bit bigger over here too and this one also. Jack, we're almost done. We need to add a few more sketchy lines to make it look even more like the movie turtles. And we're gonna use a light green. This is called sap green, but you can use any green. It, the point is to just try to get it slightly darker than our markers so that we can add this cool like sketchy texture to his forehead. So I'm gonna add these texture lines in and then I'll give you the pencil so that we can share it. I'm gonna add some sketchy lines down here. Isn't that cool how that looks different now? Yeah. We can add them right here. Don't try to make these look exactly like me. We just wanna add these sketchy lines in and the messier I think the better. So I'm gonna add them right here too. <laughs> and maybe even right here on his cheek and maybe a little bit right here too. Oh, another thing too is you can also go around the outside and kind of darken in some of the border or outside of Leo's head. Right here, you can darken this part in and over here, maybe even right here on his cheek too. Now you can use this color. I'm going to switch again to a slightly darker green just to add a few more texture lines in that show up differently, maybe even down here, this. Oh, and also we can use a lighter color to get a different texture on our turtle. So we can add, maybe even use a white colored pencil. Let's see, yeah, that looks cool too. Now let's switch to our dark blue colored pencil and we're gonna add texture lines and this like sketchy look to the bandana. So I'm gonna start here on the edge and we're gonna come in and or out and get a little bit lighter as we get to the edge of the bandana. And then we can also add more sketchy lines up here at the top. And I'm gonna add more of this on the outside part of the bandana and maybe here on the knot. Oh, and over here too. We can add those texture lines that come out to the edge. And if you want to, you can also go back over right here, right above his eye, you can add a second layer of the dark blue and this will darken in and add even more shading to his bandana. 
I like doing this after adding another layer of markers because it darkens it in. And you can add even more details. Now let's use our white colored pencil one more time. We're going to add a little highlight on the bandana. So we can layer this on top of the marker. You can also add a little wrinkle line there and maybe one on the outside of his eye. Then also on the knot, add two, one on each part of the knot. And we can also add a little highlight over here on the outside of the bandana and also on top of the bandana that comes out. We did it! We finished drawing Leo and he looks super cool. And again, I especially love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They both turned out awesome. That's because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, and to practice. Practice. Remember, you can also pause the video right now to finish your drawing, take a little extra time to add all of those cool style lines to your turtle drawing to make it look even more like the movie. We just drew Leo, but you can use the same technique for all of the turtles, for Mikey, Raph, and Donnie. Let's also put up pictures of the turtles, all of the turtles, so that our friends can pause the video and use those images as reference to draw the rest of the team. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Leo. We do, and we hope you have a lot of fun drawing the rest of the turtles. Be sure to pause the video and take that extra time. You can't leave out the rest of the team. No, you can't. <laughs> and parents, remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is in theaters this Wednesday. You can click the link in the description below this video to get tickets today. We also want to give a big shout out to our friends at Paramount Pictures for sponsoring this lesson. We love you guys so much and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.